Hey, it's Happy Mac. And uh, today I want to talk about why I hate my iPhone and why I hate new iPhones in general. So, so I've been an iPhone user for a long, long time, right? Uh, my first iPhone was iPhone 4S. This was my first iPhone, and I, I featured it in a lot of my videos. But you know, it's it's a different thing. Um, so the thing is. After iPhones, I switched to Android in 2016, and I've been an Android user till 2023. When I switched to iPhone XR, my, you know, the last Android phone was Galaxy A52, and I actually really liked that phone. You know, it wasn't so powerful, it was just a mid-range phone, but I just really liked it. It felt really, really special to me. But then I switched to this guy right over here. Wait, let me get get get, get rid of the kids. Okay. This is an iPhone XR, XR, whatever you want to call it. It's running on iOS 14.8.1, and uh, let me tell you, customization on iPhone is really, 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 really bad. The only thing you can change is wallpaper, really, wallpaper and ringtones. And on new version of iOS, uh, you, you you can change this whole uh, clock font and s stuff like that, but I don't care about that. And you know, iOS 16 and iPhone 10 series are not as stable and smooth as it is on uh, all the versions of iOS. Uh, I've changed these icons with the thing called Apple's Shortcuts app. Yeah. Uh, I've downloaded tons of uh, custom icon packs and uh, applied them one by one with Shortcuts app. And um, I, I think it's a great video thing. I, I, I really want to do a video about doing that with Shortcuts. And there is also another app, Postbox, where this is actually like a hub for themes basically uh, yeah uh, this is this is for another video why I don't like this phone well first of all a lack of customization if it wasn't so obvious uh, another thing is that we are using lightning for 10 years almost like really iPhone 5 was the first uh, iPhone to introduce the, the lightning ports so uh, the thing is, newer iPhones still have this. Well, 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 well. New iPhone 15 will have USB-C, but even that will come its own restrictions. And uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, one more thing is that new iPhones, and this one also, you get only 60 hertz display. I know, this is 2018 phone. I have no complaints here. I'm complaining on new iPhone 14 series. iPhone 14, which starts at $799 US dollars. It, it really has a 60 hertz display, you know. For average consumer, you know, 60 hertz display is, it's pretty good. It's, it's not bad at all. Sometimes people can't even tell the difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz, but once you get used to high refresh rate display, in this case 120 or even 90 hertz, Trust me, there is no going back to 60 hertz. I mean, I, I I did go back to 60 hertz. I mean, Galaxy 52, which I switched from, this was the Android phone I switched from, came with a 90 hertz display, and it was actually, and it was really smooth. Uh, this guy's performance is better, so that kind of fills that hole for me. But really, <laughs> really, it's just 60 hertz is dumb. It's it's not good. It's really not that good. Not that great. One thing I want to talk about is, well, side loading apps. Side loading apps meaning that installing apps without App Store. You know, if your iPhone is jailbreakable and it's jailbroken, you can do that, but if it's not jailbreakable, then it is not. And Apple Apple has a really big fight between the, the jailbreaking community. Like, they're making her harder and harder every year to jailbreak the new iPhones. Uh, so yeah, that can be done. Although, although one of the reasons I stayed on iOS 14 is that I got Trollstore, and what Trollstore means is that I can download and install IPA files. Like I can install anything without App Store. You know, if you have used Android once, you probably know what APK files are. You know, download APK files from internet and install it without Google Play Store. Same thing here. IPAs for iPhone. 
and uh, you can download older versions of apps, you can download whatever you want. So the rumors say we will have uh, side loading options in iOS 17, we're not sure about that, we'll see when it comes out. But for now, for now, till iPhone 15 and iOS 17 really comes out, yeah, that's one of the complaints that I have with the iPhones. In general, iPhones are innovative, like really at all. The only thing that you might call innovative is like SOS satellite connection with iPhone 14 series, but that's about it. iPhones have very same design language since 2019 and uh, really nothing has changed that much really and you know just having that powerful processor really the best mobile processor the best processor best chipset in the smartphone world right now iphone has the best one you can't take you can't even take full advantage of it like on iphone 14 you 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 have that crappy 60 hertz display you know the display's not crappy the colors and everything are amazing it's just the, the the crappy thing is the fact that it's only 60 hertz not a high refresh rate smooth display uh also one thing i wanted to mention is that my like, iphone 14 was pretty much uh, like a garbage thing not iphone 14 pro and pro max just the iphone 14 because it was the exact same literally the exact same phone with new colors and a tad bit better camera and trust me you're not going to notice any difference uh, it, it's just not worth it. it even has the same processor and costs 100 bucks more than iphone 13 iphone 14 the normal iphone 14 is the exact same phone as the regular iphone 13 just more expensive really that's the truth if you want to ask me. Well, if you're thinking about getting iPhone 14 right now, well, don't do it, duh. Wait till iPhone 15 comes out, so then iPhone 13 might get cheaper and get the iPhone 13 instead of the iPhone 14 because iPhone 14 is the exact same as iPhone 13, just more expensive again. That was very much a thing uh, I wanted to talk about, that I really hate the, the way that Apple is making phones for us and you know, and not hating or anything, I, I really 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 like Apple, I, I have almost everything Apple. I mean, I've got an iPad, which is in a different room, and I really don't feel like getting it. I also got an AirPods, you know, it's got different stickers and stuff, you know, just to give it a little personality. I even got an Apple Watch, and uh, yeah, really, I'm an Apple guy. <laughs> I can't call myself an Apple guy, I, I think. <laughs> With all this stuff in mind, and customization is really what's holding me back, my next phone will probably be Android. I don't know what might happen in future, how Apple changes things, but right now, with today's standards and stuff, my next phone would be Android, definitely, really. Hey, just saying, I'm not a hater or anything, but my next phone will probably be Android because the customization that it gave me. I thought I would be able to jailbreak this guy when I switched to this, but I couldn't. And uh, using iPhone that's not jailbroken is kind of, it's kind of like using a feature phone, like what do you call it? A keypad phone. Everything is the way the manufacturer put, you can change for basically nothing. Like, one thing I'm really pissed about is I want my apps to be like on this lower right corner, right? I, I would like them to be accessible when I'm trying to use my phone with my one hand. I just can't, I just can't do it, like, really. It's shame. It's shame, Apple. Like, really. Oh, I didn't want to fall apart. Who cares? It, it, it really is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> that we have to talk about this. You know, you might say, oh no, my dad's on iOS 14. Who? It's the same exact story on iOS 16. Don't get me started on that. So, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, then.